Hey guys, Mr. Game here, once again, and a while back I did a video on a very simple piston translocation elevator, and I wanted to show you something, so hold on to your- Alright, so what you see in front of you, you can see here, this is the translocation elevator I built a while back, it's sitting right there, but you can see it's a lot more complicated. It's not that bad really for what it is, and what it is, is a multi-floor elevator. This thing can do eight floors in total, and yeah, it is pretty awesome. So we're just going to set it to one floor here, and as you can see, we should end up, I think there is where we're going to end up. Yeah, just like that, as you can see. But, if we come over here, and switch it to two floors, you will see we come up to here. I don't know why my Minecraft doesn't have sound right now, I'll try to get that worked out, I keep having these audio issues, but yeah, I don't want to bore you by showing the whole thing, you get how it works, I'm just going to show you, let's go all the way up to the very top, and here we are. So yeah, like I said, for what it is, it's not that complicated, so I'm not going to do a tutorial on this, but I will show you how it works. This here, I've already shown, this is the same elevator I built here, yeah. Down here, we have an item frame, which controls this comparator output, which I showcased in a comparator video on the Redstone Properties thing. You guys should check that out if you haven't seen it already. Because, yeah, it can t comparators can take outputs from things. But anyways, this is a switch gate thing that was actually designed by generic B so check out his channel if you want to see how to build this so yeah you should be able to build it just by looking at this right here you can see down there up here just like that just like that so that right there what I just showed you should be more than enough information to build this entire thing then all I've done is connect each one of these up to one of these pistons as you can see, if I were to select, say, floor 4, you'll see that this piston is retracted, pulling this block away, as you can see right here. What this means is that this repeater cannot power this piston because it can't, there's no block for it to go through. Another property I showcased in another video. Anyways, long story short, it is very simple. All you'd have to do is use this thing to select one of these pistons, and then the sticky piston will pull the block out of the way so that this repeater cannot power that piston there, which means it will not pull you up to the next floor. So I'm just going to activate it so I can show you here real quick. If I activate this thing quickly, you will see that one, I believe, was the one that didn't fire. Let's get a better view of this. Just switch down to you, something like that. As you can see, that one there did not fire because this piston is in fact retracted. So that's the basics of this thing. And honestly, I say basics, that's pretty much the entire thing. That's all you need to know. For a multi-floor elevator, this is not bad at all. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video.